Hey guys, so let's talk about stances. Stances are animations that change the way the states look. For example, you can walk with a crouch stance or a sneak stance or a wounded stance. So you can change that. So let's dive right into it. So to make a stance, we need to go to the animal component and here on stances, we need to add First, we always need to add the default one, which will be when no stances are playing. So you leave these parameters the way they are. So in this case, we're going to add the sneak stance on the raccoon because I do have some sneak animations. Now we're going to go to sneak and we're going to add an input. Let's call it sneak. And this stance we're going to play, sorry, let me change right here, we need to do it on the sneak. So always remember to select the correct stance. So sneak, and we're going to play it when we are on the idle state or the locomotion state. We don't want to sneak while jumping or falling. What else? We need to add the sneak input. And we're going to use the C key for that. And we instead of pressing, we're going to use the toggle. So if I press C, he is going to go to the sneak stance. And if I press C again, we're going to exit. Perfect. Now we need the animations. So I have for idle and locomotion sneak animation. So we're going to go to idle. And we're going to add it. But we don't have any parameters for the stances so we need to add those so go to the animal and on advanced optional parameters search for stance and last stance and you will see that they will be added right here now i have three animations for the idle sneak so let's find it right here for spark raccoon animations and we're going to go to idle and you'll see that we have see this right here sneak idle loop left and loop right so let's add these three right here and remember always to add the tag needed for the state so in this case is idle so i'm going to copy and paste it right here and what else do we need? First, let me add a substate machine and use right here, sneak. And add these animations. Right. So we have things more organized. Now, to enter these sneak animations, we need to add a transition right here to the step machine. And if the stance is equals to one, you will see it right here on the raccoon instance the id is one we're going to play the sneak animations and we're going to loop right here and we also need to add right here some exit transitions and we need to play these animations randomly so for entry I'm going to add some entry transitions we're going to use random equals to 2 and random equals to 3 but since this is default transition for this state machine if it's not two or three it will play this one right here now on this sneak animation state machine we're going to add the random behavior and I'm going to use three because we have three animations so what else do we need we also need to add this entry stance to sneak in the top
when the stance is changed it will verify first if it's a snake stance so let me hit play and if I press C you will see that we have the snake animation perfect but if we move we are playing the locomotion the default locomotion state so we need to fix that now let's go to locomotion and right here I'm going to create a new blend tree I'm going to call it snake I'm going to add the tag remember always to add the tag and also we need to set the multiplier to be the speed multiplier and right here I forgot to add it also and then if we're going to make a transition from entry to snake and the condition is stance equals to one you can also use the new tool animations for the animator so we're going to here go to stance select this one I'm going to use locomotion stance sneak I'm going to add from entry a new transitions and if you check here you will see that we have the conditions already set properly with the ID it's the same thing now we need to add the parameters so I'm going to do a three a 2d freeform Cartesian with horizontal and vertical and I'm going to add a few fields that we're going to use for the sneak stance in locomotion so we have zero 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 right center and left again right center and left and we're going to use it one one and one so when we're moving and when we are on the spot so raccoon sneak idle will be in the zero zero sneak will be the forward center right one and left minus one and we also have the turn animations which are here sneak right sneak which will be one and left sneak which will be this one right here always remember to test this out perfect if you want you can also add the backwards animations backwards when we are going back one but since we do not have backwards animation for the raccoon we can use the forward animations but we can set the animation to animation speed to minus one and that will also work for us so you see that we can go backwards perfect so let's test this out if I hit play and I go to the sneak stance and we move forward we are in the sneak stance now you see that the animation is are not working perfectly and that is because some of the colliders are touching the ground some of the internal colliders of the raccoon you will see we have this one right here on the arms so make sure always that your internal colliders are not messing with the movement of any of your states so in this case we only need to disable those colliders when we are on the sneak stance so we're going to events stance and here I'm going to add a new enter exit stance event for the sneak and I'm going to disable the raccoon forearm where are they forearm left and forearm right colliders capsule colliders I'm going to disable them 
and when we exit the stance I'm going to enable it back so I'm going to copy it right here and paste it and I'm going to enable it so again if we go to the sneak stance pressing Z and we move everything is working perfectly because those colliders are not messing with the movement also you can add speed modifier for specific stances because we if you check right here on the speeds in ground we have walk trot and run but for the stance we only have one speed so we don't want to use this speed so what you can do is to add a new speed set call it sneak and here I'm going to use sneak for the speed but here we're going to set the limits so we only use it for air and locomotion and the stance will be sneak and also the sprint speed will be two we are only going to have two speeds so let me duplicate this one right here and sneak sprint I'm going to call it but for this one I'm going to since we are using root motion we are not going to add position or rotation but here I want to use the same set of animations of the plant tree but with the speed of 1.75 in the animator that is why we use here the speed multiplier parameter so when we use the sprint I'm going to change the velocity of the animations on the same track you see that they move a little faster so we have two stances we have the default stance and we have the sneak stance perfect now if you want to add more stance you simply need to repeat the process but with a different stance ID so that's it. See you in the next tutorial.